Okay, so it's been like three weeks since I have uploaded a video and I really need to make this video for myself really more than anyone, uh, but maybe this video can help you as well. If you're in a similar situation to me where you've been like doing well with something and you've been consistent with it and then like other stuff just comes up and you just end up like your attention goes from this one thing that you've been really good at and really consistent with and it kind of drifts over to these other things. So I'm going to just make a quick video talking about a quick little mindset shift that has helped me because I've been able to come do this video and do some other projects that I'm working on as well um, to help me make money and to help me with the business stuff that I want to do. It's not all just about YouTube, but um, you know, I feel like this mind sh mindset shift could help you. Really, what is the lowest friction thing you can do? You know, to stay productive on self-improvement, it's always about, you know, how much content can you create? How much uh, money can you make? How many clients can you get? Sitting in front of a desk and just, you know, typing away and doing all the actual work. But what I want to ask you is, what is the kind of lowest friction thing you can do just to help you get back into doing those good habits? Because again, over the past couple of months, I have been going down this kind of, I guess, hole of doing bad habits. You know, I was doing so well on self-improvement. I've done a couple of videos now talking about how, you know, I was doing really well and I kind of got inconsistent again. And it's just like, you go through these periods in your life where you'll get obsessive over self-improvement and you'll do really well with it and you'll be really consistent because it's kind of the new thing for you. But as you carry on with that, it can you can start to go down different paths. You can start to fall into some old bad habits. And I think looking at the kind of lowest friction thing that you can do, that's a good habit. That's still, it's still got to be a good habit, but it's like, it's not that big thing that you were doing that you were really proud of that you were doing, you know, like the YouTube or something, if you were like a content creator. Um, I'm not saying you have to go straight back into doing that kind of thing. Just pick a habit that you can start doing again consistently, just to kind of learn how to be consistent at something again. It's just about being consistent with something that you don't even necessarily have to enjoy doing it. Um, you don't even, it's just like something that you do that no one's got a gun to your head saying, you, you've got to fucking go to the gym, you've got to record YouTube videos. It's like, you're just being consistent at something because you've decided to be consistent with it. And just to get back into the, the kind of routine of doing good habits, you know, if you've been going back into your old habits and kind of watching loads of porn or just scrolling social media or binge watching Netflix, you know, and you're like, oh fuck, I used to be really good with going to the gym. I used to be really good at making YouTube videos. I used to be really good at getting clients for my SMMA, whatever it is you're doing, you know. Um, then don't think you've got to jump straight back into content creation or make, doing that big task, you know. Just go back into the smaller habits. Okay, I'm going to not go on my phone as much. I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to go to the gym, that sort of thing. Whatever that big thing is that you've been putting off for me it's been youtube right for me i've been putting off doing the youtube because i've been focusing on other things you know uh, and i'm not gonna lie i've been going out been drinking been going out with my friends spending a lot more time on the weekends just enjoying myself whatever that thing is for you it's probably going to be content creation realistically if you you know following this channel it's going to be something similar then rather than you know thinking you have to prepare and do like this big thing you know you've got to get it back to the same standard of what you used to do it at like i'm not going to record this video now thinking it's going to be the same standard as like my other videos or some of my best performing videos where I put loads of effort into them. This is just going to be a quick, like barely edited video of me just talking to the camera. Because again, it's like if you put roadblocks up to that thing that you're doing and you try and hold yourself to that same standard, you're just going to end up putting it off even more and you're going to end up procrastinating because you're going to think, oh, I need to tidy my room quick before I uh, edit this video or before I record this video so that it all looks perfect in the background. Or I need to go for a haircut before I record the video because my hair doesn't look good. Or I need to go do this. Do you know, the more stuff you add on to do the task that you're procrastinating on, then that is kind of still a form of procrastinating, right? Even if you want to get it perfect and you're a perfectionist, if you need to just get back into that being consistent and just get back into doing the thing that you were once good at, once very consistent at, and then I would say just make it low effort. Like this video is low effort. And I'm just giving some advice based on kind of the current way I'm feeling. And this this kind of stuff is what's genuinely helping me just to make something. So like if you're in a similar situation to me where you just want to get back into content creation, or you want to get back into the gym, you know, the gym's a good example, right? If you want to just get back into the gym because you've been really inconsistent, don't go thinking you need to do an insane, you know, one and a half hour leg session where you do like seven sets of squats and eight sets of hamstring curls. No, no, no. If you haven't been to the gym in a while and you just need to get back into it, just go 20, 30 minutes and just gradually build yourself back up again. It's not like you're starting from square one with the gym. 
you just are slowly getting yourself back into it. And within two, three days, you'll be gymming like you already did for the past two years. You know, if you've had two weeks off or whatever it is after an injury or something like that. So that's what I'd say. Just slowly get yourself back into it. There's no need to try and get to the same standard that you were at and just slowly ease yourself back in. That's kind of what I'm doing with this video. And the last bit of advice that's going to help you. And, you know, I've had to tell myself this recently is you need to create something that's called an anti-vision. So an anti-vision is something that quite a few people have talked about. I spoke about it on the channel before as well, but it's really about rather than looking at the short term negatives of having to do this thing like, oh, I don't really want to go to the gym because I just I'm tired. I just can't be bothered. Right. Or I don't want to make this video that I'm making right now because I don't really have the ideas. I'm just not really feeling it. It's been a long time since I made a video and it's going to be uncomfortable and I'm going to have to, you know, I'm not really used to it anymore. Instead of thinking about the short term, you know, negatives, think about the long term impact of you not doing the thing. Right. So rather than visualizing, oh, you know, I'm going to get loads of subscribers or I'm going to get really big at the gym and muscly rather than trying to motivate yourself by doing that. Sometimes it's better to genuinely think, OK, what if I just never made a YouTube video again or if I gave up the gym? And then you kind of think of it like, oh, shit, OK, so I've been doing this YouTube thing for a while. And if I just never made a video and the last video that I made was my last video ever, then that's kind of quite a lot of hours of my life wasted um, or, you know, what, what, what would I regret the decision of never making a video again in two, three years time? Or would I regret the decision if I quit the gym and just decided, you know what, fuck it, I'm not going to bother anymore. Cancel my gym membership. And if you create that anti vision of what you might react to that decision like in two, three years time where you look back and you're like, fuck, why did I give that thing up? Why didn't I just keep going with that? You know, it's with this YouTube, like I could look back at this in five years time and be like, shit, like, if I had kept going with that YouTube channel, maybe it had been doing really good right now and I wouldn't have to still be working this job. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if that's the case, but once you start thinking of things through that lens, like, a, you know, what 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 is the negative that's going to happen to me if I give up with this thing, then that is such a more powerful driving force, I think, because I think people are, are people you can, you can motivate yourself with, you know, the positives that's going to come of you putting the work in but sometimes it can motivate you. At least it motivates me way more. If you think about the negatives of you just like giving up, right? Like you put this work in, you've, you've been doing well on self-improvement and then just think about the negatives if you never succeed, if you give up. Like that to me is more scary. Like it's better to be motivated by being scared of what you could potentially fuck up or lose if you give up. Um, so that is my kind of three little tips if you just need to get back into that kind of rhythm, that routine where you were doing well, you've fallen off and you need to get back into it, right? Start off with the low frictionless good habits, go for a walk, go to the gym, make a nice healthy meal. And then, you know, start doing that big task again, like the recording the videos or going to do the more heavy sets at the gym and stuff like that. Ease yourself in. And then to just keep motivating you, just think about, listen, what's going to happen if you continue to not do this thing that you were once good at? Uh, and you know not being consistent are you going to regret that down the line right bro that's it thank you so much for watching the video hopefully you got some value out of that and uh yeah i'll see you next one bye